Now that we added data, we want to change some symbology. Several ways to do this, very similar to other programs again, is we could simply click here on the bus stop points. And if we double click, that will give us access to a symbology pane over here on the right. And we can use uh, any number of their preset symbols if we wanted. Um, I think there are ones for bus stops. So they have bus stations here. Um, so we could click that. It gets a bit messy, uh, but we could. Uh, we could go to the properties of that where we could begin changing the sizes. So maybe we make them a lot smaller. Go down, hit apply. Yeah, it's too small, hit apply. So, you know, we could play with that. Another way to get to that is, is uh, let's say that's the symbol we want to use. Um, we can go to the Madison Roads. So we'll click on that layer. We can right click and you could go to symbology there. That will also bring up the symbology pane. Now you could symbolize them by unique values. So you can change the symbology here, things that you're familiar with where we can go great graduated colors, graduated symbols, we could do proportional symbols, um, unique values if we wanted to do, you know, interstates different than residential streets. Um, a new kind of thing here um, is you can symbolize your layer using symbol attributes by a dictionary, um, which sets a more complicated rule set. Um, but what we're going to do, I'm going to simply keep the single symbol. I'm going to click on that symbol, and I just want to make it... Um, black line weights. I want my line widths to be uh, say 0.5. You can scroll across. Uh, so that's the basic symbol. You can come in here to the layer so you can mess with the uh, width or offset. Uh, you can make it solid or gradient picture stroke. You can go further to the structure and you can add effects. Um, effects could be arrows, buffers, donuts, whatever. Um, they have a bunch of different things you would have to play around with uh, to see which ones you really want to use. Um, you can also choose kind of the path styles. Um, and then when I'm ready, I just hit apply. And that's kind of my thing there. And then the Madison boundary, I want to change that as well. And so I don't really want an outline color, so I'll change it to no color. In the background, I just wanted some simple kind of tan color so I'll do that like that and I'm gonna go back and change my bus stops I don't really like those so I'm gonna go back to my gallery I like a simple circle but that's too big so I'm gonna to go to properties and I'm gonna make that let's say a six see what that looks like I think that's better for what we're doing here now <clears throat> I do want to point out the Madison boundary, click on that layer, and then you'll get these kind of feature layer additional tabs that will pop up depending what you have kind of activated and whether you, you know, if I click on my map, it goes away, but if I click on the layer, it comes back underneath appearance. This is where um, we can begin to also changing symbology. Uh, but you can also make things transparent. So I can use a slider here to really um, kind of knock that color back in this case. So that's the two places that you can go ahead and um, change symbology or the representation or the cartographic appearance of your data. Thanks.